Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, first video of 2020. How are we feeling? Welcome back. Um, yeah, dude, welcome to 2020. I know we're like many days into 2020, but welcome back, you know. This video today is sponsored by Daily Harvest. We got a morning routine going on. Um, I'm so excited to talk to you guys. I haven't talked to you guys at all this year, so it's gonna be a great year. I got extensions. The hair is in a braid because that's how you do extensions. When you sleep, I just woke up. It's uh, 5.56 in the morning. I woke up at 5.40. Uh, I've just been kinda like journaling a little bit when I woke up, but we're here now. Uh, so good morning, guys. Today's a morning routine, like I said. Um, you guys, if you listen to my podcast, know that I love morning routines. I love mornings. So I wanted to share mine. Now, first thing I'm going to say is that my mornings are different, uh, pretty much every day in terms of wake up time. And really quick, that's because I prioritize seven hours of sleep before wake up time. Meaning like I'd rather sleep for seven hours and get up before I am every day. So like last night I planned to go to bed by like nine so that I could wake up at four because that's seven hours of sleep. But uh, it didn't end up happening. I fell asleep at like 10, 30. So I was like, I'll wake up at 545 and life's fine. And I'm really lucky that I can do that because of um, the lifestyle that I live and that I'm an entrepreneur. Like I'm really, really lucky. Um, so I always shoot for like 4 a.m. But uh, today it ended up being like 540 and that's totally cool with me. So uh, yeah, I get seven hours of sleep and then I wake up. I always get asked like, what time do I go to bed? Um, so it really is between like 930 and 11 11 is really really late for me sometimes it's even earlier like between 9 to 11 i'd say it's actually more realistic for me we have a super busy day today and uh there's a lot of really big things coming up that i'm so excited to announce to you guys and talk to you guys about so yeah we are in for a huge year huge huge year and one of the announcements are is actually coming up probably in my next video or so so be on the lookout for that please excuse my congested voice I don't really know where it like came from it just like came out of nowhere you know what I mean like I said I woke up and I journaled a little bit uh, I talk about this in my podcast so I'm gonna link that down below but I journal every single morning it takes me like five ten minutes super easy I write down ten dreams that I had and I pulled that from a ten-year vision that I wrote down um, and I write down ten uh, manifestations from that and Honestly, really quick, I have seen the biggest change ever happen because of those manifestations that I write down every single day. I'm not kidding. They're all coming true. And I I literally keep saying, like, I cannot believe the stars are aligning and that everything is perfectly falling into place. Like, And I really honestly think it's because I'm telling myself that it's going to every single day and I'm believing it. It's insane what's happening. And again, you guys will know soon. But yeah, so I journal when I wake up. Sometimes I read. Today, because I woke up a little bit later, I'm not going to read. Um, and also, I just kind of want to get to the gym and go work out. I'm in a really good workout mood, so I could just want to go get a sweat on. Um, so I'm going to put on some music. I always do that. Um, so I'm just going to put on my rap playlist. Sometimes I'll put on the Lumineers in the morning, but today I'm feeling like a little rappy. Hear it? Yep. So uh, that's what I do. I just put on some music. There it is. Yep, in the morning, 6 a.m., baby. Let's bust this rap. Bust this rap. Yeah, I just said that. Okay, let's bust this rap. Yeah, now I'm gonna go like brush my teeth and stuff. Get changed for the gym. I'll show you guys um, what I'm gonna wear and then we'll go downstairs. I swear I like punched myself in the face or something because my nose hurts so bad. <laughs> that I want there's no way that I used all the pants the kind of pant that I want hmm. use the pants that I want see I want to go blackout because it's leg day when it comes to my workouts I plan to work out every day. It's really hard for me to work out anytime that isn't in the morning for myself. Like when I spin and stuff, like when I teach spin, I don't consider that a workout. I just 
consider that like teaching um so i don't count that as a workout for the day uh so it's really hard for me to find time in the day to work out because like once i start working like i really don't stop until like i'm going to bed so uh right now i'm still not really in work mode and it's so funny because in the middle of my workout or towards the end of my workout i feel myself starting to get into it and i just leave right away i'm like okay like it's time for me to go um so when i start to get in work mode that's when i like leave my workout but what i'm trying to say is that i always have a plan for my workout so like when I go to bed, I wake up knowing that I'm going to go to the gym at 6.30 or go to a workout at 6.30, whether that workout is like CrossFit class or uh, to going to the gym or maybe it's going to a yoga class. Like whatever it is, I just always have a workout planned for me to go to. Um, but I decide what it is in the morning because I listen to what my body wants. Like if I woke up super, super sore, which I am sore, like I obviously wouldn't go hit quads again, but like I'm going to hit hamstrings, so mm, we're good. I got extensions, as you guys can probably tell. Loving them. I got hand tied. I can make a whole little experience about it if you guys want me to. Not the best lighting, um, but there's like no lighting right now, so. Um, I'm just wearing a black workout top. Um, it's like, I'm going to try and show you. It's like a tight workout top. It almost looks like a little crop top situation that I have going on. So I have that. This is just a Forever 21 sports bra. And then the pants are um, just Yacht Club leggings. Would rather not be wearing them because um, they don't have like a good waistband. And like, I feel like they like almost give you like a stomach. I don't know. I just I don't love them. I don't know, I'm having like an okay day for it, but if I was bloated, like I would never wear these pants, but I would wear, like what I want to wear is Lululemon in movements, but I wore all of them, but I ordered two more pairs and I think they're coming today or tomorrow, so that's cool. We're gonna go to the gym and it's really cold out, so I'm gonna put on my sweatshirt. You guys know that I'm the worst, yeah, my tree's still up. I'm the worst at filming at the gym. I get super uncomfortable, so I'm gonna go to the gym, probably won't film it, cause I'm in the middle of like a group of guys and I like just, I hate filming myself. I literally try and draw the least amount of attention to myself as possible. So I'm not going to film it. But if I have spin footage, I'll put that in here and be like, oh, I worked out because I'm doing that right now. So I'm going to go to the gym. Let's go. But here's some footage of me working out. That light turned off. Okay, here we go. Lighting is not really my friend right now, but that's all right. So I just finished up at the gym. You guys saw spin, but I went to the gym and I did hamstrings and glutes. And uh, going home now. I'm starving, so I'm gonna eat, change. I'll show you guys all that. And now we can like really get started with our work day. I'm like getting the bug to work. Like always on the last exercise, I like start check my phone a little bit more. I get the urge to check my email. I'm like, okay, like I gotta go to work. So that's what I'm gonna go do right now. We're back home now, everybody. Um, so I am so lucky that I get to create my day every single day. Um, I do have things that are routine every day. Like I like to wake up generally around the same time between like four to 6 a.m. every day. Um, I like to journal when I wake up. I like to do a workout first thing in the morning. All that sort of stuff stays pretty routine. One thing that's always routine for me is I wake up starving, so we're gonna eat right now. It's Thursday, which means that I record my podcast on Thursday morning, so, so I, I'm recording my podcast, then I have um, three back-to-back -back meetings, so I'll take you guys probably up until I like go to the studio or something, I don't really know. I'll figure it out, but yeah, I kinda wanna like make this a little bit more of like a vlog style, because I guess my morning's like gonna be over in like an hour, but I'm still gonna take you guys along with me. So you guys know that I love Daily Harvest. I've used Daily Harvest 
for a while now, a couple months I'd say. I have a sponsorship with them in the past. I have one in this video. Um, genuinely love Daily Harvest. I think they are great. I personally really struggle with dinners. Um, breakfast, lunch, I got it, it's great. But dinners at night, I just have no motivation to cook. I'm always really tired and I just wish I had like leftovers every time. Daily Harvest makes it so easy for me to have dinners at night. Um, but they've also expanded their food range. So now they have everything that's more than just Harvest Bowls. They have like Harvest Bowls and smoothies. Um, they have oatmeal bowls, which I'm gonna make right now. They have um, soups, they have lattes, they have energy bites. Like they really stepped up their game. It's really, really good. So pretty much what happens is these are chef curated recipes made of like fresh fruits and vegetables. So they're really, really tasty and really, really good. Um, and then you can pick however many cups you want in a box. I pick the nine to 11 cup per box. And then that gets delivered to my door every Tuesday and they're frozen meals. Let me show you. So this is like my daily, I told you guys, like I literally use this every week. So, and I, today's Thursday. So I got my order on Tuesday. So it's pretty full right now. Um, so, and you can skip some weeks too. Like if this lasts me a while, I'll just skip next week. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this is all my favorite, as you guys can tell, is the, um, sweet potato one wild rice harvest bowl and the, uh, cauliflower and cauliflower rice and pesto harvest bowl. Those are, okay, goodbye. Those are my favorite and I'll make one of those later but right now I'm gonna make an oat bowl it's apple and cinnamon and the ingredients are apples oats dates walnuts cauliflower pumpkin seed almond and cinnamon this is really really good I had it last week and it's to die for so I added it to my box to have I'm normally pretty good at making my own oatmeal but every now and then I want to switch it up and have like it be way more flavorful and better than I ever could it's cool that you can like see all the ingredients I don't know I've always been fascinated you just pour this into your bowl your saucepan you can make this in the microwave too but because i have a little bit of extra time i'm gonna make it in a saucepan you put this on medium heat then i'm just adding a little bit of almond milk you can add it in the package and then pour it out i always like mine a little creamier so i do it in the saucepan but if i were to make it in the microwave i just pour it in the cup and then put it in the microwave i pour it three fourths of the way but i like mine creamy so i just pour it right into the saucepan and then you just put the lid on it and you let it do its thing. While that cooks up, um, I'm gonna talk to you about my supplements. Really, really quick that I take. First thing that I do is a probiotic every single day and every single night. Uh, this is the Garden of Life Primal Defense Ultra. It's been the one that I actually have seen ever work. Um, and then I always take B12 because I am primarily plant-based. Daily Harvest, I forgot to say, is 100% plant-based, which is freaking awesome. And then the other thing that I take is D3 because everyone needs a little vitamin D in their life. So yeah. Also, I would normally make a matcha with my oats in the morning. And normally in the morning, I either have oats, um, like oatmeal, fruit, or a veggie hash. And I always have matcha with it. But at 11, I'm actually going to a meeting and I'm getting a matcha at the meeting. So I'm not gonna like double it up and have two matchas today. So I'm just skipping out on the matcha right now. Woohoo! So you can see, it's getting thick. We're making moves. I like to jazz up my little oat bowls myself. So let me show you how I'm gonna dress it up. So you just pour it in, obviously. If you're also on the go, you obviously don't have to put it into a bowl. You can go right back into the cup. Um, and if you make it in the microwave, it can obviously just be microwaved in that cup. To jazz it up a little bit, I'm gonna take peanut butter and just put that right here. Some blueberries. Frozen. This is like a trail mix that I make at home for my oatmeal. It's walnuts, cashews, pumpkin seeds, craisins, goji berries, and coconut shreds. Some hemp seeds. And that's it. That's my breakfast. Sorry, I'm literally holding this at the weirdest angle ever because I have so many things in my hand. But this is the breakfast. So you have the opal, blueberries, hemp seeds, little trail mix, and peanut butter. I'm gonna get started on some work but I'm gonna eat this while I do that. Yeah, just enjoy this little overlay of me eating the opal. Um, but seriously, I love this. I think it is so delicious. It's so good. Um, so if you guys want to try Daily Harvest out for yourself, use code STROLLING25 at checkout by clicking on the link in my description box and you'll get some money saved. Eight, cool. I did some emails while I ate and whatnot. I have, let's see, it's 
40 now so i have until like 10 15 to um do my podcast and stuff so i'm just gonna pick out a topic that i have written down because i ask a lot of you guys what you want to see so i'm just going to pick out a topic and uh film a quick little podcast and just you know type it out and stuff this is a pretty good episode hi guys welcome back to another episode of manifest with tori de simone i am your host tori de simone and today we are talking about hustle culture baby so many people talk about this so many people talk about how they're anti-hustle culture and you know how to avoid burnout and all that sort of stuff we're kind of gonna get into today um i just want to say that i'm not anti-hustle culture well actually what is the urban dictionary definition of hustle culture Alrighty, so it's about um 10 something i don't know what time it really is it's 10 20 i have my first meeting um at 11. so i'm just gonna get ready super quick and then head on over to my meeting. Um, after my meeting, I'm then going to the studio. We are training a new instructor over at Stride. So um, I don't know why I just like aggressively help myself like that. Um, so we're going, well, I'm training a new instructor over at Stride. So I'm going over there to train her. And then after that, I have another meeting at two o'clock. And then after that, I'm coming home and just working and stuff. So I'm putting on a little bit of makeup just because I have like meetings today and it's a nice day out i want to put on makeup you know also wearing a high neck so we don't gotta match the neckline today my camera's gotta charge so i'm just gonna finish up my makeup really quick and then uh i'll show you guys what i'm doing this is definitely way longer than like a morning routine now but we're already here so i may as well just like bring you guys through like half of my day you know all right this is what i'm wearing um this top it's a sweatshirt from zoffel and my jacket is from Urban. It's the um, ex-boyfriend jacket. And I'm just wearing a line leggings and white fans. And I'm just bringing my Neverfull with me. But it's like really cold out today. So I'm just bundling up, you know, and just being all whatever. This was whatever we're going to call this. But yeah, I'm going to head on over to um, my first meeting. I forgot my harvest bowl to bring to the studio with me. So, I don't have a lunch, but that's fine because I just had a matcha. I just had my first meeting. Just had a matcha and I'm not even hungry. Are you trying to, what's going on? God, so I'm not hungry, so that's pretty good. But I know that when I'm done my third meeting, I'm gonna be starving. So I guess this vlog's gonna go, oh, this is the best lighting ever. Um, so I guess this vlog's gonna go a little bit longer than I thought. I'm headed off to the studio right now to go train an instructor. I'm sure I'll vlog a little bit while I'm there. So we'll see you at the studio. So I just showed up at the studio and Jess goes, well, just tell me what you just told me. I'm drinking a delicious pineapple matcha smoothie from Daily Harvest. I told so you, good. everyone at the studio is on the wave of Daily Harvest. Mm -hmm. It's delicious, cheers. Use code Sterling25 at checkout, link in bio or my description. So we're just gonna go down and up, right here is down and up, down and up, that's it. So you guys saw a little bit of training. I'm leaving now and I'm headed off to my last meeting. Still not that hungry, which is really good. Obviously the oatmeal really held me over because it was awesome and huge and great. Um, and then that matcha held me over too. Um, but yeah, I'm just heading off to my last meeting. And then I'm gonna go home and make um, that harvest bowl and just get to work until I have another meeting tonight at seven. Yeah, it's, a, it's a busy day, man. I love being busy. Oh man, I just got back, dude. It's 4.20 now. And yeah, I'm so hungry. Last thing I ate was at um, Opal this morning. So we, wow, we're gonna make some food. Um, what do I want? I really think I want this. We're gonna do the Daily Harvest. Cauliflower rice and pesto. See, this is why I literally love Daily Harvest because it is so easy. It's already made for me. I don't have to think about it. I'm starving and it's healthy food that's ready for me. And because I am so hungry, I'm gonna make it in the microwave. All you do is put it in the microwave for four minutes. So this is the cauliflower rice and pesto. Ingredients 
are cauliflower, spinach, basil, olive oil, cashew, tomato, lemon, Himalayan sea salt, nutritional yeast, and paprika. That's it, and I'm gonna put this in the microwave. Four minutes in the microwave, and that's it. Yeah, but guys, seriously, I love Daily Harvest. I use them every single week. As you guys know, the whole studio uses them. If you guys wanna try out Daily Harvest, I could not recommend it more. I think I made it clear that I really love them. So um, my code to use Daily Harvest is Sterling25. Enter that at checkout, and I'll have a link down below, and that'll get you some goods off of your first order. And I just put it back in my cup, so it's one less dish for me to worry about, but this is what it looks like. So this is literally my favorite bowl, this and the, um, Wild rice and sweet potato hash, my favorite two bowls. So I'm gonna sit right there and eat this in peace for like five or 10 minutes, and then I'll chat with you guys again. So now with it being 4.45 in the afternoon, I think it's like safe to kind of end this morning routine. Um, I just got wrapped up in meetings. I ended up having four meetings. Like after my third meeting, I was like, I should probably just like make another one real quick. So I just scheduled another quick one, so I had four. But yeah. That's my day today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, thanks to Daily Harvest for sponsoring. Again, use code Sterling25 at checkout. Um, link down in the description box down below. And I hope you guys have the best week. Happy New Year. Lots of videos coming out this year. Big announcements. Huge changes. You guys are going to freak when you hear all of them. So, oh, I'm so excited. 2019 was the year of grinding out keeping your head down and working and 2020 is the year for change and for all of that work to come to the surface. So lots of things happening and I'm so excited. So yeah, have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Goodbye.